Warning. I'm not the best at this. With music reviews, it's either yay or nay. I'm really sorry, but I'm not good at this, so don't hate me. Welcome to an extended play where if silence is gold and making noise is platinum. My name is Shane, nice to meet you. And today we're doing a music review. This album came out on Friday and I thought it'd be fitting because I saw the band over the weekend, so I can give you a full-fledged review on this band. The band in question? To the winds, the brighter view. Now, what's nice about this band is I've known them for quite a long time. They're from Seattle, Washington, and they are a hardcore band. So, they have been notoriously known to make melodic hardcore and stuff like that, which is no short on this record. However, there are some really key differences from some of their past releases. This is their third full-length album on Pure Noise Records. The first one being Empty Eyes and the second one being Block Out the Sun and Sleep. This one has a different direction than the other two. With different members in the band, they write different music. When listening to this, what you're going to expect is a very heartfelt sound, which is no shortage on this record. What's really nice about it is, Tanner goes extremely in depth with his lyrics. He makes it known that he is struggling right now. He's looking for that brighter view. Some of my favorite tracks on here are The Brighter View, Exposed, and Only Way. Now, some of the songs on this album are heavy, but in very small portion so what's really nice about this is it's very subtle it's not too hectic you can make out the chords and everything like that which makes it sound really nice um with this one they wanted to take a step back from like kind of like the metalcore side of things and stop sounding like the ghost inside they took a step back and went back to the old days and the days of the ep so what's really nice about this when you listen to it is you can listen to the whole thing and realize you done it in a matter of moments the most prominent feature on this record is the sincerity when you go ahead and listen to it like i said the lyrics hit home on a lot of songs if you are struggling with a lot of things tanner can help you out with that he's such a great lyricist including the past two records that they released this one it just has a, a lot of weight to it you could listen to it and understand the pain that he's going through and the struggles that he's going through which i think is really cool because when i listen to a record i want it to hit me straight in the heart and you know I want to feel a certain way so I spoke with Tanner and what he said was he was looking for that weight when he was writing the lyrics to this record the production on this record is honestly incredible it's by Andrew Northfield of comeback kid so you can kind of hear that influence when you go through and listen to the faster parts of the record so when you listen to it it's very fast it's very heartfelt there are some slower parts with some very pretty chords you honestly can't miss this record. I give it a yay rating just because I love it. I've been listening to it ever since it came out, ever since it started streaming. What I love about this record is it's different than their last two, which I would recommend checking out because they're more of kind of metalcore records versus melodic hardcore, but it did have those elements in it. This one is a melodic hardcore record. This one will hit you straight in the heart. Now, this is for fans of Old Hundredth, counterparts defeater you name it melodic hardcore so the record has two variants one being this nice black pink and blue splatter almost reflecting the cover and your your split record so your blue and your black with a little bit of pink you can kind of see it looks like it almost got a little bit of that dye in there thank you guys for watching my review hopefully you guys did enjoy hopefully it was somewhat informative hopefully you guys will check out the record to the wind is on tour right now with vanna and capsize make sure you go check them out i'll leave all the links down below and we'll see you next time peace